For me, that's how it's all started. Hello YouTube, it's Jeremy X, and happy 20th birthday to Pokemon. I can hardly believe it. Pokemon is now almost as old as I am. A month from now, I'll be celebrating my 23rd birthday, and since it's three days away from being the 20th anniversary of possibly the most amazing and successful franchise to ever have existed, I thought it'd be best to share some of my personal memories surrounding this franchise. To be perfectly honest, I didn't start with the first games. I actually started with Ruby and Sapphire when I got them for my Game Boy Advance in like 2007, I think. But they were an amazing series of games, and for Pokemon fans that have been there before me, they redefined everything about it. The stats, the abilities, everything that was introduced in the Ruby, Sapphire, Emerald games, and Fire Red, Leaf Green changed everything players knew about Pokemon. All the new Pokemon to catch, new trainers to battle, a new land to explore. Hoenn was amazing. And I actually really started out with the anime but in bits and pieces in my early years. I can remember the most being the first two Pokemon movies because, let's be honest, they were amazing beyond all comparison. Who cares what Rotten Tomato says? They were awesome. But the first episode I can remember watching was Dig Those Diglett and the Saffron City Trilogy because subconsciously it gave me the idea of the Alakazam line being my favorite Pokemon. And it also gave me a little crush on Sabrina, but that's beside the point. To be perfectly honest, I didn't get into Pokemon until I was a lot older. Like, I've only been into this seriously into Pokemon for like seven years at best. And that's mostly because of my upbringing. My father isn't a huge fan of Pokemon. He kind of hates it. More like very well hates it. Mostly because he think mostly because I waste a lot of time on it. Waste a lot of time on it as opposed to doing schoolwork. Which I admit as a parent I can see that as a big concern, but when it what even when it wasn't a problem in my schoolwork, he still didn't like Pokemon or anything related to video games or cartoons. I was lucky I got to watch Scooby Doo and all that other stuff that most people my age grew up with. Okay, this is getting a little too depressing. Enough about my family. Back to Pokemon. To be honest, my favorite Pokemon anime character, as you can guess by the hat, is Ash Ketchum. He may be an idiot, but he's a good idiot. He's got a good heart in his body. He's, like, done so many things that most people don't realize because they're all like, oh, he's not red. He didn't catch all the Pokemon. He's failed in every single league match he's ever been in. He beat the Battle Frontier. Not even I could beat the full Battle Frontier. I beat, I beat like half of it. But that's just because my sister took back the console because it was hers. Mm. But yeah. Ash has done a lot of cool stuff. And kind of has to. He's the main character. But that's beside the point. My other favorite Pokemon characters would have to be Max from the Advanced series. Because I was kind of like him. A bit of a know-it-all, but... Wanting to prove what I knew so people would stop treating me like a little kid. And he was an honest kid who loved Pokemon with all his heart. Like, especially the, the sixth movie. Oh, goodness, the sixth movie. That killed me. And, like, uh, the episode with the Poochiena pack and the Shuppet and Do I Hear a Freaking Ralts. The episode with the Ralts, it killed me. I watched it... I rewatched it, like... 
a week ago, and I could not stop myself from crying. Say what you will about the Advanced Generation series, but it was amazing. But it was amazing. It really was. It may not have been as good as the original series, but it was pretty darn good, if I do say so myself. The biggest series I can remember watching from beginning to end was the Orange League, which was awesome. Even though it was filler, it was awesome. And the Diamond of Pearl series. Because, um... Because Chimchar was awesome, and it was cool to see Ash with a borderline evil rival because Paul was an abusive dick. And I really wanted Ash to kick his ass to the curb. And he did. So that was cool. But really, in terms of the Pokemon games, I didn't really go full into them until I was, like, a teenager. Now, I had the cartoon growing up, thank goodness, and the folks didn't mind that too much. But when I wanted to get into the card game and the video game, that's when Dad decided to put his foot down and say, No, I'm not having that in my house. Think like Bianca's father from Black and White, only my father hasn't changed. And most likely never will. But, you know what? Who cares what he thinks? He can't stop me. Nobody can. I grew up around the series and all the other stuff, but I didn't really have it myself until a lot later. Like, this hat, I've only had it for three days. This Pokedex, a week. This Poke, this new, awesome, original Pokedex, five days. But however short or long a time I've had with my Pokemon stuff, I feel a strong connection to it because I, even though I didn't grow up with it, I grew up around it as so much that I wanted to grow up with it. The very first Pokemon trading card game I ever got, ironically enough, was also a bug Pokemon. This Ninjask. I got it from my friend's little brother. I went over to my friend's house. He he just loved Pokemon. And he played Pokemon Stadium 2, which is where I had my very first Pokemon battle. His Scizor against my Blossom. I wasn't the smartest trainer back then. <laughs> but I learned from my mistakes and learned, hey, fire Pokemon work against bug Pokemon. So I picked a Charmeleon and kicked his butt. Unfortunately, that was the last time I ever battled him because his family moved away a little after that. But he also gave me two, these two Pokemon cards. Abra Kadabra, because he knew... I really liked Abrin Kadabra because of Sabrina. When I got Pokemon X and Y for Christmas a couple years back, along with my new 3DS, I realized something very important. I was going to love this series until the day I died. And it was further reinforced when I met my best friend in college, Justin. He is a Pokemon fanatic, and we hit it off so much. Not just about Pokemon, but we knew so many things in common. We were like the brothers we never had. He taught me everything I know today about Pokemon. Everything he experienced, he gave to me. And he even gave me a new copy of white version so I could take my Pokemon from Ruby version and put them right here on my 3DS. As a matter of fact, those of you who watch my DeviantArt account would know that I have put at least one of my Pokemon on my X and Y team that is now back in Hoenn in Omega Ruby Alpha Sapphire. My first Pokemon in those games was Nemo, my Mudkip, who is now a level 100 Marshtomp. I mean, Swampert. Nemo, who is now a level 100 Swampert. 
Who is my mega when I decide not to use Harry? But really, one of the biggest games I played in my first days was Pokemon XD Gale of Darkness. Because that was what I imagined a 3D Pokemon journey to be in the earliest days of my life. And it was super edgy, it was super cool, there was an evil team that was trying to create evil Pokemon by ripping out their hearts and turning them into soulless monsters, so that was, that was pretty cool. And I transferred all of those Pokemon, too. My first Pokemon in that game was a Jolteon. I mean, was it's an Eevee, but I used a Thunderstone to turn it into Jolteon. I have deep connections with all of my Pokemon. This being one of my first. This being my first in XD. And then there's the story behind this girl here. Rhea, my Dragonite. When I got Soul Silver, and went to the went to the Dragon's Den in Blackthorn City, I had no idea what kind of test I was supposed to take, so I answered them earnestly. And I answered all three questions correctly on my first try without even knowing what the heck I was doing. So I got an Extreme Speed Dratini. Justin told me it's because he knows I have a, a heart of gold. Ironically, that I'm playing Soul Silver. But that's what I like about my friendship with Justin and our love for Pokemon because he always says he has the heart of I have the heart of gold and he has the soul of silver because even though I've had a not too pleasant life and a lot of and I do a lot of bad things I mess up a lot but I always correct my mistakes and own up to what I'm supposed to do and I think that's what Pokemon has taught me, to be honest. And truthful. And strong in the face of danger and adversity. So from the bottom of my heart, for everything I've experienced and have yet to experience, I want to tell you all this. Pokemon is experience that you will hang on to for the rest of your life. Cherish it. And to the Pokemon Company, even the voice actors who are working with PCI, who I cannot stand their your, your voices. Well, most of your voices. Pretty much just the main cast. Sarah Nanachini, you're not a good Ash. But I'll give you this, at least you try. Miriam Poltro, you could not have been a better new two. You're better than you give yourself credit for. Not to mention you were pretty rockin' as Caitlyn. To everyone involved with Pokemon, either officially or if you're just a fan, thank you for the experience of being a Pokemon fan myself. I wish you all the best, and thank you for all the memories that I have now and have yet to come. Hashtag Pokemon 20. And here's to many more. Pokemon Trainer Jeremy X, signing off.